after my live stream on Friday, I was expecting a little bit lower and then we got this explosion here to the upside. And I actually did trade the explosion after my live stream, I analyzed the price action. We were building some nice little bullish CVD at a resistance point and it looked like price wanted to pop. So although I still expected lower momentum as a trader, we need to pay attention. Here is the trade that I entered on Friday after my live stream. And as per my live stream, for those of you that were there, you will know that I was at least expecting a swing failure from this low over here. And it really looked like price wanted to roll down, okay? I spoke about the break of this trend over here with momentum here to the upside, taking profits. So a successful trade in the bag nonetheless. And then we got the dump here to the downside, claiming the liquidity below this low. And then as price moved up here, I started spotting some bullish CVD at this resistance point over here. And usually when you see some bullish CVD grinding against a resistance point, it can definitely give you some more upwards momentum. So I entered a trade here on Mexi, link down in the description if you'd like to come and trade with me. And I took profits here by the daily level at $59,000 and I closed my position at $59,600, still benefiting from the momentum here to the upside. We just have to remember as traders, we don't always get the analysis right. Right. and price action can change in a couple of minutes so after the live stream i realized okay it doesn't look like price wants to fall down in actual fact it looks like it's building up strength for higher momentum and that's exactly what happened and i immediately entered along with good risk management paying myself on the way up now the question is, can we still expect the final wave here to the upside or is Bitcoin starting to correct and slow down here at the moment? Let's go and analyze the price of Bitcoin together. And remember, down in the description of this video, we've got these amazing deals still on the table for our exclusive legends over here where you benefit under exchanges, 10% cash back on a non-KYC option where, where you deposit money into your features account, leaving the money there, you get the 10% cash back on the money that you've deposited. And also here on Bybit, when you use the link down in the description, you benefit from that $500 USDT position that you can benefit from trade and keep the profits. So let's dive right into the Bitcoin analysis. Looking at Bitcoin here on the one hour time frame, you can see where we currently got the rejection. I know I have a lot of levels over here, but we will go through it step by step. So when I take a FIP here from the high, to the low over here, you can see at the 0 0.618 is where we got the rejection here to the downside. And more or less here by the 618, the 1.618 in this area over here by $59,606, this is where I closed my position. I played the momentum here to the upside, paid myself there by the daily level, and then further up here by the 1.618, because I know how powerful that level is from a rejection perspective, I closed my position and I went and I relaxed for the weekend. Now, looking at the structure over here okay let me just take all the scribble out the way so it looks a bit nicer and cleaner so we can analyze the situation we know exactly where the 0 0.618 FIP level is and this is where we got the rejection for now we have to acknowledge that the trend is up and the trend is your friend until the very end as you can see over here we made a low and we beautifully respected this trend all the way with this momentum here to the upside now again we tap the trend over here, a little bit of a fake out. And as long as we stay above this trend, which we now have acceptance back above the trend, there is still a chance for higher levels over here. The most obvious levels that I want to highlight is it is never guaranteed that it is an impulsive structure here to the upside. This structure here to the upside can still be a corrective structure where we're going to turn around and fall back down. So the obvious levels that I'm currently watching here at the moment is that if we still get momentum here to the upside, okay and you can see we've done a beautiful rs flip we have we had resistance where i played the breakout to the upside beautiful bullish cvd building up in this region and we had the pop here to the upside where i closed the position roundabout over here and now we have which looks like a three wave corrective structure here to the downside as you can see, you have an impulse, you have a three-wave corrective structure. You have an impulse, you have a three-wave corrective structure. Again, impulse, three-wave corrective structure. Could this be the corrective structure for this impulse once again? Impulse, three-wave corrective structure, where we could potentially expect another impulse here to the upside with then another three-wave corrective structure. But I do anticipate after so many momentum waves to the upside, okay, the end could be close, where once you you have your last impulse here to the upside you could have a deeper corrective structure that will then correct this entire structure over here because every corrective structure that i'm seeing here at the moment looks like it's only correcting the recent impulse 
correction, impulse, correction, impulse, correction. So you still need a correction to correct this entire structure over here. The question is how high are we going to go before we see a deeper correction? So the levels that I'm watching here at the moment is to say that, okay, we have now made an Aries flip over here. With resistance, we broke through, we came back for a retest. Simple technical analysis. Together with support over here, we also have diagonal support. So there's definitely still a chance for higher momentum here to the upside, especially when you take a FIP here from the high to the low. If we're going to tap the 0 0.618, we do increase the probabilities for a little bit higher momentum. If I take a FIP over here, okay, from the high to the low, here by the 50% area, if we're going to start rejecting here by the 382 and the 50% area, and we start rolling down and we lose the trend again, and we do not build up bullish CVD to confirm momentum to the upside, we can definitely come and take this low once again. Where you take the low, you SFP, you make a corrective structure to the upside, and then you start falling down. So that is what I'm looking at from a bearish perspective. But let's focus still here on the bullish perspective is to say that, well, if we do still find momentum here to the upside, okay, what are the highest probable rejection areas that I see? The first level that I'm watching is at this pivot over here. Okay, this pivot has a beautiful confluence here with the one to one extension. And if this is a corrective structure here to the upside, the one to one to the 1.236 is usually where the corrective structure finds its topping point. Okay, and it starts rolling over. So I will definitely consider a swing failure from this high over here. Okay, if price moves up here, it claims the high. We have a daily level over here that we need to flip into support and break through. But I will still consider if we move up here and we swing failure from this pivot over here and we get momentum back down, showing that weakness, even getting the momentum back down below this pivot over here, we could see a deeper correction here to the downside that's potentially going to come and correct this entire structure over here. The most obvious level that I'm watching, okay, is when you take your FIP here from the high to the low, you can see here by the 786, let me just drag this a little bit so you can see the levels clearer, it is basically a FIP extension from the low to the high, to the low over here, to, to see, well, this wave over here can duplicate itself here to the upside, okay, where you have that one-to-one -one in confluence with this pivot over here, where we can see a deeper correction to the downside, but also the 1.236 in perfect confluence with the 0.786 can definitely also be a rejection point to the downside. So if Bitcoin finds the strength to move up here and it taps that 0.618 level that I've just highlighted, that over here somewhere, okay, that we do definitely increase the probabilities to perhaps make a higher low and continue the momentum here to the upside, where I'll be observing the one-to-one -one extension at $61,123, and the obvious, the, the, the better level that I'm watching over years here by the 1.236 in confluence with a 0.786 at $62,447 for potential deeper correction here to the downside, where this corrective structure okay has ended and it's going to correct itself here to the downside so from a bullish perspective these are the two obvious levels sixty one thousand dollars okay by the one to one extension and sixty two thousand dollars four hundred by the seven eight six where we could potentially get a deeper correction breaking this trend to the downside for a nice little short to the downside also, I just want to highlight taking the scribble year out the way. There's also that possibility that what if this is the end of the impulse over here? We have to be prepared for all scenarios. Okay, we start rolling down here. We break, we break the trend once again. Okay, you lose this resistance. You start closing high time frame candles back below. This could definitely mean that you are now starting to build impulses back to the downside. And what do I mean by that? Where you're now forming a one, two, three four, five, you make an ABC correction here to the downside, perhaps retesting the trend as resistance, and then we start building impulses back to the downside, one, two, three, four, five. So as traders, we just need to be prepared for each scenario. Like I've highlighted, this trade long that I took here to the upside, I did, according to my analysis, expect a little bit of more downwards momentum. But based on the price action that developed over here, I just had to go and enter that long because as traders, we know our analysis 
prices is not always spot on and price can change in a second. But we always have to have a trading plan from a bullish perspective and from a bearish perspective. Observe the price reaction at each level and make that trading decision with good risk management. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to be part of our Legends Trading Community, we will go into a little bit more detail from a trading and technical analysis perspective. First link down in the description to join. And then until the next one, cheers for now.